are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, winter, spring, and fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand. Huh? Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Dad life, thug life, bright lights in sight. All right, what? Dad life, thug life, bright lights in sight. All right, yeah. Dad life, thug life, bright lights in sight. All right, what? four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Let's get it. What? At Tanagra, when the walls fell, this is Dan Owings coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio with my co-host, as always, Jason. How you doing today? Instead of the reference at Tanagra, when the walls fell, uh huh. For the Mandalorian, okay. Should we rebrand it? I have spoken or something like that. Um, or, or what's the, the guild say? No, or the, the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian say this is the this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. So maybe we should rebrand that or re. Boy, it's know, hard. Tag. It's gonna be hard for me not to come in with at Tanagra when the walls fell. This is the um, way when the walls fell. You cross them over. This is the way. Is there anything? I mean, this is the this way, is the I, way have spoken, I have spoken. But we at end Tanagra the episode with I have spoken. Uh, so yeah. I feel like that's not. Well, listen. Right. We'll table that for now. It'll come back around. Although we'll be done with the Mandalorian soon because there's yes. only a couple more episodes. Yeah. Once again, they miss a classic opportunity because every episode up until this point, the child, the sin, mm-hmm. this week, the chapter gunslinger. five, the gunslinger. Yeah. Why not the sanctuary last week? It's not that hard to do. It's three letters. The mm-hmm. the sanctuary. It could have been be. the child, the sin, the sanctuary, the yeah. gunslinger. Yeah. I couldn't it, agree It could more. have been the, the, the season one. You think there was a conversation had about that and they just decided to, to like – Listen, I'm telling you, if chapter six, seven, and eight have a the, I'm going to be upset. They're not going to. They're not going to do all thes except for one. Will there be a pattern? Two thes, no the. Maybe. Two thes, we might, no the. We may, we may, we may, we might be looking a little too much into this particular aspect of the Mandalorian. This is the review of chapter five. <laughs> Of the Mandalorian, <laughs> the Gunslinger. I have watched one and a half times. I was gonna watch it twice, but something happened and I couldn't keep on watching it. But I feel like I kind of listened to it once because one of the kids within were watching it, so I feel pretty up to date on it. Yeah. Um. Right off of the bat, I liked it again. Well, yeah. I mean, I was totally very entertained. very solid. I loved it. Yeah. I will say it feels like okay. So this is chapter five. So we've got six, seven, and eight. That's it. That's all we have left. Of season one. Of season one, yeah. of course. But, I mean, at some point, they're going to have to get back onto the storyline. Of like, what? Well, like, where's, you know, uh, Werner Herzog's character? And, you know, it just it feels like th- they're, they're just doing these little individual cool little stories. But Which it feels they're like, awesome. Yeah, they're awesome. But it feels like now you're going to have to start wrapping some stuff up to at least get us to a point where when this season ends, it just doesn't feel like it just ends, but that like there's some sort of conclusion to something or some sort of answer given. Well, obviously, to the something. guild has been sent back out to capture him. Why do you all say the that? bounty hunters? Well, yeah, because bounty mean, hunters continue to come after Yoda. Yeah, so that's not stopped. So that right. uh, chapter five starts off with him in a space fight, and that's he right. says, "Oh, there that could be a that that could be an opening line." He goes, "I can bring in." Uh, Hot, warm or cold? Warm, or I can bring in cold. Is that what he says? Something like that. We'll, so we'll look it up. Maybe we'll start the next episode like that. I can bring in warm, or I can bring in cold. Oh, that's my line. And then you say, that's my line. Yeah. So anyway, so that's how the show starts off. And then- Like much, every Star Wars uh, movie episode. Starts off in space. Yeah. So much to my delight- we got to go to Tatooine, Tatooine. most Eisley in particular. Eisley. And if they, there's some side-by-side shots, it's like exactly where the moon is and where he's flying in yes. to Tatooine. It's perfect. Yeah, it's fantastic. So um, they absolutely knocked Tatooine out of the park. I loved everything about it. It seems to me that that one kid was sitting in Han Solo's booth yes, where absolutely. he shot Greedo yes. with his feet up just like Han Solo had his feet up. And Han shot first. And Han shot first, yes, which we've talked about that before. So that was pretty exciting. Um, in anything like right off the bat, you know, ideas, predictions, um, theories that you have? No theories this week. Um, I am curious. So the one that they were sent out, or he was actually, he took the the puck mm-hmm. to get this 
chip. I love I love the puck too. I love no, the puck that's is a great. new that's a new thing, and I love yeah. that they're calling it a puck. Yes, I don't know the genesis of the English word puck. If I only know about it a as hockey a hockey puck. term, yeah. but maybe a puck was a thing before that, and they when they saw the hockey puck, they just said, "Oh yeah, the puck." You know what I mean? Like I love it. It's great. I, whatever. I love it. It's fantastic. So obviously. Um, you know, initially you're thinking that this might be something, but she's dead because he killed her, right? Well, we don't know that she's dead. Okay, she might not be dead. Yeah, he shot her. We do know that. That and is she, true. But, but we don't know that she's dead. Okay. Now the question looming over the entire episode is, who? What are the feet? At the end of the episode. When it goes back to her and you see these feet walk up to her and then, you know, like kneel down. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a reason that they don't show who it is. Now, if it was somebody we didn't know, the assumption would be that you'd show them to that us. That we already know this person. Yeah, the assumption is that we'd know this person. That when the reveal happens, that we're going to be like, oh, okay, all right, that's cool. So, Jason, there's a pretty cool theory online that I had not heard yet. Okay. So, um, apparently, when he's walking up, or whatever these feet are that are walking up to whoever she is at the end of the episode, there's a characteristic jangling sound that is associated with a specific Star Wars character known as Boba Fett. Really? Yes. So there is apparently, there's a sound that's happening. And Boba, no, so this was after Return of the Jedi. Yes. So Boba Fett died, right? No, we don't know that. What we do know is that Boba Fett fell into the um, into the Sarlacc pit at Tatooine, but you know we know that it takes a thousand years for a body to digest in there, so that it's not true. like an instant death. He's got tons of tricks, and you know he's like Batman with all the toys, right? So Boba Fett escapes the Sarlacc pit, and then instead of you know going back because you know everything has fallen apart, he just hangs out at Tatooine for a while, and now he's back on the scene. Another Mandalorian, by the way. And it's the characteristic. Do, no, he, do we know he's a Mandalorian? Yeah, he's yeah, he's definitely a Mandalorian. Do we know that? Yes, yes, he is. He's wearing the Mandalorian. He's a bounty hunter. Yes, and so is the Mandalorian. But all bounty hunters are not Mandalorians. Mando, but are see, all, Mand- all not all? See, the bounty hunters. Not all bounty hunters are Mandalorians, and not all Mandalorians are bounty hunters. But all guys that dress like that are Mandalorians. Are you sure? Yes, because it doesn't look that different than a stormtrooper. Google is Boba Fett a Mandalorian. I'll do that later. Okay. Well, he is. So there is a connection there. They're wearing the same things. Anyway. That doesn't mean anything. It's the Mandalorian outfit. Okay. Um, he so, doesn't have any Beskar. No, but Beskar is not easy to come by. Well, maybe he does have Beskar and it's just painted green. We don't know. <laughs> um, but there is a character. You don't paint Beskar. You don't paint Beskar. Come on. There is a characteristic jangly. Okay. And... and, and because we don't see his feet, the assumption is that we know him, and we do know that Boba Fett, the last time we saw him, was, was Tatooine. on Tatooine. Yeah, that, it would make sense. And it would make sense that somebody like that could find his way out of a Sarlacc pit. We didn't hang around there for a while. I mean, the moment that um, that scene in The Last Jedi, or The Return of the, the Jedi, is over, like we don't go back to Tatooine for any reason. That's true. Right? Yeah. And we don't even stick around there very long. It's like as soon as they escape, they're gone, and we don't see it anymore. Straight to Endor. So I'm saying 20 minutes later, he crawls crawls okay. out, realizes that ah, this thing's going Will down. Will we see a flashback of him crawling out? That would be sweet. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. That would be flipping sweet. Now, apparently, the um, producers or whatever have denied, oh, no, there's no Bubba Fett. But Levi, my son, looked it up, and he said Disney – um, has made it canon that Boba Fett did not die on in Tatooine. Okay. Um, that that's canon now, and that's a post George uh, Lucas gotcha. thing. That is a Disney. Now that means Disney is going to do something with Boba Fett at some point. Is this the reason? I got gotcha. you that they. Kept so him alive? did you know? You know they re uh, adjusted the release dates. They did. It's not every Friday now. Oh yeah, no, that's been that way for a while, and yeah. they're doing it. Because this ties into the new movie. I, I read up. that, yes. So you have to, before you watch the new Star Wars movie, mm-hmm. you have to be caught up on this because something happens well, that I'm you need to know to about. I'm going to see the new Star Wars movie on Christmas Day. We are too. Where are you going? The Marcus? Oh. Where are you going? Here in Marion. Oh. It's not as good. No, it is not. But, 
you know, I mean, the problem with going to the Mary movie theater is don't wear shoes that you want to keep because they'll be stuck to the floor. They're a little sticky. And then you just have yeah. to walk out barefoot. I'm hoping Christmas Day they will have cleaned. <laughs> no, they won't. It'll be worse because it's Christmas. <laughs> I think what time are you seeing it? Uh, like in the e- like at seven. Okay, I think we're evening. watching it at four. Okay, so I'll text you when it's over. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so a couple things. I love the Tuscan Raider sign language. Maybe yeah, that's that, why they're that always was a like little silly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was because they just silly. screamed. They never. I I realized after watching that I don't want to see um longer than like a five second shot of a Tuscan Raider. Like keep the camera on him longer than five seconds. It starts to get a little silly. It's like oh that's just a guy dressed up. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like the Tuscan. The Raider... I have spoken guy. Totally not a guy dressed up. It was like a real alien. No, but this is a, just a guy with a sock over his head. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not prosthetics. You know what I mean? It's just... It's a creepy Halloween it's, costume. It's a bit silly to me. Um, it, so the sign language, that right? That seems silly to me. I actually was not a fan of that. Of the sign language? I was a little bit like, eh. Mm, yeah, why this is really awkward. Like, yeah. I feel maybe there was another way he could have communicated with them. Or they could have been a little bit more subtle about it. But those two dudes... <laughs> in the Tuscan Ritter <laughs> outfits, like standing next to each other, like doing the signals. I mean, that was I for, for me. Yeah, that was a miss. They would be great, like sideline coaches in football. You know, mm. calling in the signals. Yeah. The Tuscan Raiders. Yeah, that should I, be a name of a football team. The Tus- well, the Raiders is the name of a football. It team. It should be called the Oakland Tuxen 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 Raiders. Tuxen Raiders. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. So obviously, ho- well, I don't say obviously. Hopefully, we find out in the next episode who that guy was or woman. Don't want to be sexist. Uh, could have been a woman. Could have been the shock trooper. That was my other thought, too. I feel like it's definitely a bounty hunter, though. If I'm giving my actually best theory, I think it's Carl Weathers. Oh, okay, because, yeah. Because he's somebody that he's we to, know. Yes. And um, and he, because she was had a bounty on her head, that you could have her puck. Like, somebody else could have had her puck. Yes. Because, obviously, many people have the little locators the for Yoda, yeah. the fobs for Yoda. So somebody else could have had her fob and tracked her down. So Well, because there was multiple fobs for Yoda. Yeah, My guess is it had to be – my best guess is that yeah. it's a bounty hunter. My very best guess is that it's Carl Weathers. What I hope is that it's Boba Fett and we get that sweet, sweet scene where it's flashback. a flashback of yes. Boba Fett climbing out of the Sarlacc. So pit. have you seen the flashback – or not the flashback, but the um, like retro 80s – Yes. Uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, it happens intros. during the Christmas special. No, 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 no. That's all I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. No, no like the commercials yeah. that they've that remixed. people have made. Like, like the, as the intro. Mm, they, but like, it's in. So the last one, have you seen? There's two the of them. Two. Seen, yeah, yeah, you sent me both of them. So that, one of them was the uh, Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers, yeah. That was great. I can't get enough of either of that. I just keep on giving me more of that, of the grainy Absolutely. footage. And then like the shots of a guy like crossing his arm and kind of like <laughs> nodding his head. And You're so silly. Yeah. yeah. That's great. It's no, fantastic. it's fantastic. Mm. And I don't understand how... At the time, we thought that was pretty great. Mm-hmm. You know, now yeah. if that came out today like it seems that, so silly. Oh my gosh! Yeah, mm-hmm. could not be more silly. I'm, it's very exciting. It's very so you exciting. know the baby Yoda or the uh, the baby Yoda, the baby monkey video that yeah. that you've heard me Riding play backwards on a pig baby monkey. It's yeah. Your, so like, my sister sent me. Song. It is my favorite song. It's one of my favorite all time YouTube videos. So her sister, my sister, sent me a song mm-hmm. from Perry Grip. I'll play it here really quick. I don't know Perry Grip. It's it doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Okay. Here it comes. All right. It's coming post haste. Jason. Well, that had to have made your day when you when you Oh, saw it was that. great. Yeah. So I don't know if she knows the baby monkey video 
But it's the same music, and it's almost the same exact song. That's like song. the perfect Venn diagram for you, those two things coming oh, together. it could not be more perfect. You. I, I was reading something today uh, trying to find out stuff about Mandalorian, and one of the things that I keep on seeing is they're talking about Baby Yoda, and then they'll say things like, we know it's not Yoda, but we're just... You know, like, we don't know what else to call it. Right. And I'm like, wait a minute. How come you know it's not? You can't just say that you know it's not Yoda. Well, the I mean, time frame doesn't work. Well, I mean. How could it? I don't know. Like, we don't Time know, travel? That's a thing that happens. In the, well, in like, the I'm Star Wars saying, universe, I don't know if that's a thing. Just because it hasn't happened yet or we haven't seen it doesn't mean it couldn't happen. Or maybe Yoda's race, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, reincarnate. Reincarnate. You know, as the you know, as the same race, right? Like maybe he, Oh, so when he died, he was born again. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm just saying like, you can't just be like, well, of course it's not baby Yoda. It's somebody else, but we got to, do call we something. know it could be Yoda. Do we know of any other Yoda species or anything? There are, th- we don't know anything. We don't even know the name of his species. So yes, I get that. So like, there is are, there another single one? There are three. It's Yoda, Yaddle and something else. And um, it was uh, – they were on the, the Jedi Council, died in Order 66. Okay. So there is more than one Yoda species. Gotcha. And the ones that we know are all Force-sensitive. So there's an assumption that they're all Force-sensitive on right. some level. Right, okay. But, um, but we don't know that it's not Yoda. You can't just dismissively say, well, we know it's not Yoda, but it's some I – mean, But it could be. It looks yeah. to me a lot like Yoda. Or what if – it's Yoda's kid. Well, and you have a senior mm-hmm. and a junior. Then well, it would be Yoda. It'd be Yoda think Jr. The best working theory is clone. The Yoda clone. Yeah, but at which um, point he kind of is Yoda. You, exactly. So, anyway, there it is. Um, so my prediction is that the feat is Carl Weathers, but my hope is that it's Boba Fett. I'm with you. I like it. Um, yeah. Long term, like crazy thoughts theories would be Han Solo, maybe. Um, okay. You know, maybe Obi Wan Kenobi. Wait He's a dead. Well, I guess that's not possible. Han Solo is possible. Yeah. L- Luke Skywalker is possible. Is it? I mean, he's around. Yeah, he's not dead. He's somewhere training the Knights of Ren, right? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, that would be weird, but hey. So I mean, I got some you know off the wall theories C-3PO? that seem like a lot of fun. Yeah, except you can really walk like C three PO, oh. but. Um, it's definitely not BB-8. So no, definitely not BB-8. But so, Carl Weathers. But hopefully, it's Boba Fett. You bring Boba <laughs> Fett into this, it'd make me so happy. Yeah, so happy. Okay. Anything else? No, I, I, it was a great episode. Right. I, you know, he's going to lose Yoda at some point, right? Yoda keeps on wandering off by himself. I will. I will. You can't lock a baby in a room. Mm-hmm. He's going to escape. I've I'll, tried it. I will cry myself to sleep that night. <laughs> that much I know. Right? Isn't Baby yeah. Yoda? He's going to escape. Yeah. I mean, if... He's almost lost him two or three times already. Yeah. Like, like you know the superhero scenarios where it's like... You know, here, Spider-Man, your girlfriend is falling from a bridge, but simultaneously from another bridge, it's a bus full of people. You right. know, you can't save them both. Who do you save? You know, that thing. Yeah. You know, like, if it's like Baby Yoda or like, I don't know, like one of my kids, you know, like, it, I got to yeah. think about it. You know what I mean? I'm just, yeah. you know, I'll go for my kid, but there is a slight hesitation like, uh, Baby Yoda, you know, somebody else's kid. It's not even close. You know, I once Baby again, Yoda. Mattel is producing a Baby Yoda toy mm-hmm. available in April. What? How is this? This is the worst foresight of any I don't know how, decision Disney yeah. has ever made. I don't know how. The how, shelves should have been loaded, and they would have sold out. They could have sold them for yeah. $35 a piece. Exactly. And they would have been sold out. They could have had like five different versions. The regular Yoda, the stuffed animal Yoda, the tickle me yes. Yoda, like all the tickle different kinds of Yodas. Um, coo Yoda. Coo? He coos. <laughs> He's a cooing Yoda. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You still He's tickle him to make him coo, though. Yeah. All right. Well, if you read the, if you we watch ours with um, subtitles, right? And it says "baby cooing." Oh, really? It does. Huh. Oh, that's nice. All right. Well, this is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweats. Sit, boo, sit. Good dog. I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs>